Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Leopardo Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today we are in our hallway. I love my hallway and it's been really my ride or die from the beginning. This is usually my Instagram content, but we're taking it onto YouTube because you guys loved it so much. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys and give you some indoor tips that you can do in season and out of season that will really take your golf game to the next level. So let's jump into it. Today I want to talk about your rotation from the top of the backswing to your downswing and a mistake that I see a lot, which is coming over the top and having super early rotation in your downswing. And that's something that we really got to fight. It's something that's very hard to get rid of, but it's also something that's very simple to train. And then you will be able to improve it quite a bit. It is basically changing your path to come more from the inside out, more, you know, of a positive path. If you were an attractment than a negative path when you're coming from the outside in. So let's use our walls and make sure that we learn how to correctly swing with a neutral path. Cause that's really all we need. All right. So for this, all you need is a wall to your right. And that will really do the trick for you because we're trying to feel that our upper body and our chest is pointing at that wall. So I'm going to have my mock set up here and I'm kind of in the middle of the hallway right here. So you can stand about a foot and a half away from your wall, even if you don't have a hallway like this. And I'm going to cross my arms because that's what I like to do. And then I'm going to turn back and I'm going to put my hands on the wall. And why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that my chest right here is facing the wall because that's really going to help us with that 90 degree turn. And I'm also want to make sure that I'm not turning fully, right? As you can see, I'm not facing the wall. My shoulders aren't level. My shoulders are tilted. So I'm turning around my own axis, right? I'm just turning and my left knee almost goes a little bit more forward. My left knee does not come in. And I'm going to cover this in another video here because that's also a really important point. We want to make sure that we establish our spine angle. This is the spine angle right here, this tilt, and that we're rotating around that and getting our left shoulder under it. We're not losing that spine angle and that hip tension. So again, that's another video. Make sure you watch it. Again here, we're going to turn and we're going to have our chest face this wall. Our left shoulder will be lower than our right shoulder. And also, since our chest is facing the wall, our back is facing this wall. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that as we're starting down, you see how I'm starting to shift, I'm starting to go down, my hands stay on that wall. And what that does is it helps me keep my back to the target, my back still to the target. It trains the separation of the upper and lower body. And that is something that is very difficult. It takes a lot of flexion. It takes a lot of flexibility, but this is also how you can train it because a lot of people always say, Oh, I'm not flexible enough. And you may not be flexible enough now, but you can get flexible enough. And golf is a training, you know, golf is practice. Golf is, you have to put work into it. So if you're not able to separate your upper and lower body today, but you might be able to do it tomorrow or the day after or the day after, but you have to put the work into it. So again, I'm this drill, I love this. I'm going to turn back. I'm going to put my hands here and I'm just doing this motion. That's really all I need. And the more, the more kind of coil and tension you can build up, the better. And that's what it's going to feel like, right? I mean, this is what the golf swing separation is all about. I got to say, you know, it does feel like there's coil, there's tension, but that's what we want to have. And then you kind of let go and you let your arms come down and you'll see that your arms are going to be pulled down regardless. Because what happens when people come over the top, they turn back and the first thing that happens is their right shoulder comes. And you see how my chest is already towards this wall. My back is towards the other wall. That's what you don't want. You want to turn back and you want to keep that chest to this wall, back to that wall. And you just transition and you do that little squat that you always see the pros do. And then you just are able to explode and face this wall fully. So first, we're facing the back wall and then we'll keep facing the back wall, keep facing the back wall until we are releasing to the front wall. And this is really one of my favorite drills because it improves upper and lower body separation. It trains flexibility and it will give you so much more power in your golf swing. So make sure you train this at home. All you need is a wall. Any wall will do. No excuses. Go do it and see how your golf swing will improve. Can't wait to see you guys next time.